Assalamu alaikum. In the traditional zerplasty technique, we create two symmetrical triangles with straight line limbs. There would be situations, however, when consideration should be given to having the limbs as curved rather than straight lines. There would be situations in which there would be concerns about the viability of the skin flaps of the uh, Z plus the, particularly the tip of the flaps where you expect a significant reduction in the blood supply. In situations where the skin is previously irradiated or has a burn in it, uh, you may increase the perfusion to the tip of the created flaps by increasing the angle uh, using curvilinear uh, lines rather than straight lines in the created flap. It's important, however, in such um, situations where there are concerns about the blood supply of the skin, is to consider carefully the pros and the cons of doing the z plasty in the first instance. The other factor that can affect the viability of the created flaps is the elasticity of the tissues because that would affect the tension of the wound and may affect the viability, particularly of the tips of the flap. And if the um, elasticity of the tissues are affected in only one part uh, rather than the whole of the surgical fields, then you can consider having the curved limb in one or two or the three limbs of the z plasty as required. In this example, we are using the curvilinear flap design only on one of the limbs, and that increase the angle here of the tip of the flap to uh, help in increasing the tissue perfusion. Once the two flaps are created, then they can be transposed and you'll have some difficulty in placing the flap with a curvilinear line in position because of the excess tissues, and that would create a trap door or a dog ear deformity that has to be addressed. In the more uh, common scenario where you have concerns about the viability of the skin of the whole of the surgical field, you employ the curved lines on the two lateral limbs of the z plasty. So after planning the uh, curved limbs, you carry out the usual steps of the z plasty, incisions and undermining of the tissues so as to mobilize the two flaps to be transposed Notice that the angle of the flaps has now increased significantly by curving the line. That would help with the viability of the flap tip. And then the flaps are mobilized by undermining. and then they would be transposed once they are undermined and mobilized. They can be now mobilized, transposed to their new position. And you would notice that the dog ear deformity will form on the two flaps and the base of the two flaps, and that can be sorted out at the end after suturing the, pl the flaps in position. It's almost inevitable to get these trapdoor or the dog ear deformity at the base of the two flaps because of the curvilinear nature of one side of the flap. And sometimes you just need to extend the uh, hockey stick 
incision at the base of the flaps and this will help in flattening out of the flaps when they are sutured in position. So that's a simple but useful modification of the standard Z plastic technique that can be uh, employed if there are concerns about the viability of the tips of the Z plastic flaps in situations of uh, radiotherapy, burns, uh, long term steroids, or increased uh, tension in the wound because of a loss of tissue uh, elasticity. Salam alaikum.